Hello, it's me, Uli Royal. I want to show you uh, how my uh, 3D wizard soup script works with Apophysis in that software, uh, in that nice fractal flame software. You need, therefore, the software itself. Uh, it's at SourceForge uh, free, really free, no, no. Uh, yahoo things or something else you need to go to view all files and then go to apophysis apophysis 3d experimental and then you need the version apophysis the latest version 2.083 d hack you go on it and there you need the exe you download it as you can imagine i already did so and then we need the my script and you find this in uh Uli, when you google uli royal wizard soup script and then there's a, a wizard 3d wizard soup script by uli royal on deviant art and here it comes and this is the uh, tutorial I make right now. And uh, you say download file and it comes here and uh, you have to unzip it maybe on your desktop. And here it is then. That's all you need from the internet. And then you must start the uh, Apophysis software right here. It comes like that and then you have to say open script or script open and choose the 3d wizard soup script 2 from me uh, or from the desktop then you have it and then you can say with this little green arrow play and then uh, many variations start some very nice some not so nice and you can have fun with that first by pressing sometimes to see what can happen and afterwards you can manipulate a flame that you almost like to make it really nice so let's wait till something almost nice comes out like this i like it and then you can manipulate it first is the best thing to do to uh, manipulate the gradient for example if you press here present preset a random preset comes out of these uh, millions almost millions of presets uh, that come with apophysis apophysis and then you can in the rendering menu say oh maybe it's not uh, it's a bit bright or it's not bright enough or something like that and you can change the brightness there next thing to do is uh, you can change the perspective view like so and you can uh, change make it more wide angle or something else and with a double click on it you reset those values again and in the main window you can um, move the flame and if you manipulate it you have to open this uh, transform editor with this arrow and there are five uh, five or four uh, transforms these triangles are called transforms and you can manip manipulate them by dragging or saying scale here and now you can scale down this one and you can switch on or off the preview of the variations uh, with this eye thing. And you can also switch off the final transform uh, for editing. It's easier if, it, if it's not there in the beginning. There's the first transform. That's the center transform. You also can edit the script by here. And there you see uh, first transform is the center transform and it's uh, manipulated with some uh, 
with some values and you can first maybe try to scale it up and down to see what happens and then you can look for the non-zero uh, variations and also uh, manipulate them and see what's happening first in this small uh, window here in real time and later in the big window it needs some time to calculate and you can look what happens when you drag and drag no click and drag uh, the the non-zero things first you can also uh, do some try something else but um, nothing but you can try whatever you want it's very funny so then you can select the second one and look what happens if you scale it or move it oops if you move it you have to go here to the move button and yes yeah, something happens sometimes and sometimes for example if you rotate it not many things happen in there as you see and uh, yes you can also uh, play with the Julia scope thing uh, every of every single one of the last transforms is uh, uh, a base or is manipulated by a different Julian this one with two with a Julian first you can make this bigger and this smaller for example and the last one is uh, a Julia 3d thing you can make this bigger too for example and then look for this little button if you press that it uh, shows a big preview and you see it's sort of nice and unique after that you can save your work your or the example in a, maybe in a new container on the desktop you say uh, name shall be wizard subscript one and this is a container and then the flame itself also needs a name it's called this time circus for example and then you can open the container desktop wss1 and there's just the circus you also can uh try now another transforms or another uh, variations of the script and if you like that maybe you want to play with these values a bit that translated in that direction transform change the weight from nothing to something and in the variations make it uh, make it a bit variated you can then look for that here in a, another example for example you can tweak uh, that more and you can also save this in the like uh, cloud or something cloudly cloudly you say i think and then you have those two uh, the circus and the cloudy flame and last but not least you can render it in a very fine uh, resolution or very coarse to preview it there are many tutorials in the internet how you can work with those if you like it and uh, then you say you need a name you can either uh, make it a ping or a jpeg and then you can start rendering and it renders takes then uh, significantly longer um, can take some hours or something but that's fine i want to stop it right now and this is almost the end of my little overview about uh, the wizard soup script and the apophysis i hope you liked it. Goodbye.